Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, the continuing series of the uh, Smart PLS uh, uh, software hands-on approach for research in uh, social sciences and more. Uh, my name is Derek Ong and this is the uh, video where I'll be discussing on how to use Smart PLS for mediation analysis. Now, um, before I go on to uh, using a uh, simulation, I need to explain to you a little bit about uh, mediation. For those of you who have, do not know a little bit about mediation, you can also refer to one of my uh, uh, re other channel on uh, research and statistics uh, using SPSS, and you can look a little bit more. Here, I'm just going to give you a very brief overview on what mediation is. So, a mediating effect is uh, created when a third uh, variable or construct intervenes between two other related constructs where a mediator specifies uh, how or the mechanism by which a given effect occurs. So this independent variable will have causality influences on the mediator, which then in turn causes the outcome, which is kind of like a uh, sequence of events. So individual indirect effects and the corresponding standard deviation from the bootstrapping, example, either 500 or 5,000 samples, is obtained to be used for the T-statistics calculation and the indirect effects uh, recommendations by Gritcher and Hayes. So here are the um, recommended uh, references if you want to. And uh, just to give you a, a, a difference between what is a direct effect and what is an in, uh, indirect effect, a direct effect would mean the reputation here to loyalty, whereas an indirect effect would be reputation going to satisfaction and to loyalty, where satisfaction is a, a intervening uh, mediating uh, variable. So we always so want to see, uh, besides the uh, uh, direct effect whether or not there is a mediation effect uh, when we look at our um, models. Uh, so it depends on whether you have a mediation effect. So this mediation effect would be kind of like an extra hypothesis that you enter in. Right, so for that I am going to use the uh, smartphone uh, data uh, as uh, I used it before in my direct effects. So please uh, look at my smartphone data uh, video uh, when we look at the direct effects. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to look at the three mediating effect of usefulness to attitude to intention, observability attitude to intention, and ease of use attitude to intention. So we need to run the bootstrap. Everything remains the same as before. I calculate with 500 samples. And I'm going to show you with the uh, mediation, the same relationship of mediation, uh, but we're just going to copy and paste because we only have three here. Um, if you remember the direct effects was um, Sorry, if you remember the direct effects, we only had four, so our mediation will be, hypothesis will be five, six, and seven. And there you have, uh, please look at the total indirect effects, okay, not the specific, <coughs> but look at the uh, specific indirect effects, yeah, look at the specific indirect effects will give you uh, more of the information that you want. So click on Excel format. Once again, in the mediation, all you need to do is just, uh, I think you can delete all this. Yep, so you just copy and paste. Okay, the indirect effects. Uh, you also need the confidence interval, so um, you can use either the confidence interval uh, bias corrected or the confidence interval uh, normal. Uh, the only difference is when you use the confidence interval, it, it kind of gives you a bit more accurate exam, uh, answer than the confidence interval, which you can also use for the direct effects later on. So I'm just going to use the confidence intervals bias corrected. and. Um, Especially for uh, mediation, this will be good. So uh, I'm just going to 
take away these two uh, delete uh, yep so this will be the lower limit and this will be the upper limit uh, this will be the p-values so I'm going to put this into my table now where I have h5 h6 and h7 which are my uh, uh, two three new uh, hypothesis delete this so my uh, hypothesis will be these three ease of use to attitude to uh, uh, intention which is just for the sake of showing you yep usefulness ease of, ease of use first then observability then usefulness to an attitude and intention so I just want to see whether there's a mediating effect of attitude using the sample mean again standard deviation and the statistics I will put here. You notice that the T statistics, all of them are uh, quite uh, significant because it's above uh, 1.96, just like your direct effects. So all the decisions supported. And I'm going to also copy and paste the standard deviation and there so you notice that the uh, confidence interval will be in between will, will have the range the standard beta will be in between the range of the lower limit and upper limit for all and there you have it your mediation is done pretty simple pretty easy so just remember to copy this whole table into your word document paste this you can put this as a uh, um, again as a uh, uh, the uh, <clears throat> um, you can put this as the uh, uh, title on top. Also, you can display that the tables if it's too wide. You can display it as a uh, uh, horizontal portrait. This will be table XX uh, in indirect relationships for hypothesis testing. Uh, it'd be good to also put these two values down here as well. All right, so that's for um, your indirect effects on mediation. So my next video, I'm going to show you how to do moderation. First, moderation on uh, categorical variables, and then next will be uh, moderation on uh, quantitative variables. All right, thank you for watching.